My name is Sandro. Um, I'm a PhD student at the TU Munich. And I want to give you a quick idea about what the neuro robotics platform has to offer. So, uh, first of all, where can you find us? Obviously, in the collaboratory portal, you go to platform collaboratories and neuro robotics, and that will bring us you to our starting page. Uh, from there, you can click Get Started or choose Platform on the left navigation. And this will present you with a list of all the experiments we have right now. Um, from there, you can launch and add, even edit them, but your changes won't be permanent, so that's a good way to try it out. Um, obviously, we offer a full documentation as well as a support page where if you ever get stuck, you can probably find help there. Okay, so um, if you want to create your own uh, call-up to have your own experiments, you can do that from our page as well. Create your new robotics call-up that will give you a brand new call-up, everything set up for an experiment. On the bottom, you will see my experiment. This is a placeholder. To actually have your experiment, you need to go to the settings on the top right, and there again, you will see the list of all the experiments. You choose one and click clone, and that will actually copy all the files attached to this experiment to your collaboratory from there on out. It's yours to edit and launch. Okay, so um, if you add more experiments to your already existing call-up, um, you go to the navigation add, uh, filter all the collaboratory apps for neuro robotics, click add to navigation, and you have another placeholder that you can then clone in the same manner as before. So let's see what uh, the neuro robotics platform actually looks like and what the user interface um, presents to you. This is the basic view. And on the bottom, you see the toolbar. Uh, this offers you all the widgets we have right now. A help button to the bottom right uh, shows you some basic information, uh, but you can select all the buttons on the toolbar and it will give you additional info on what they actually do and their purpose. The most basic things, of course, is being able to start, stop, reset, and pause your experiment. You find that on the bottom left. And uh, we can just see here, you can even reset parts of the experiment, just the brain. Um, a little more involved tool is the spike monitor. This will allow you to observe the internal brain state. Uh, in this case, the brain reacts to red. And if you see, as soon as the robot sees the red screen, the upper neurons start spiking. Similarly, for the joint plot, you can observe the plots, uh, the joint states of the robot and even plot them against each other. You can observe position, velocity, and effort on these joints. If your robot has, uh, happens to have a camera, uh, you can open a second view that will show you exactly what the robot sees. And if you want to really start editing, when you launch in edit mode, you have this editor button. Our first editor, of course, is the environment editor. It's the first tab, and this will allow you to add basic shapes to your experiment as well as lights and more complex objects that already belong to the scene itself. Um, for now, let's see, let's just add a single cylinder and see if we can make the little husky robot bump into it. Okay, basic interaction works. If you want to edit your objects and models further, you can open an object inspector, and that will give you tools to translate and rotate your objects, even with graphical tools. Easy process. You can also toggle on collision box visualizations and make models transparent or wireframe. The next big part is our transfer function editor. Uh, the transfer functions are the communicators between the brain neurons and the actual actuators and sensors on the robot. So everything there is done with Python scripts. Uh, you can add as many transfer functions as you like. They can also serve as loggers uh, for CSV format uh, files. 
So here you can see the robot turning at its usual speed. And if we go to the, the transfer functions and mess around with them a little, maybe we can start uh, teaching it to brain dance. Would be cool, right? Well, OK, I tried. For the experiment editor, we have a smart state machine. Uh, again, it's Python. And it will allow you to sort of uh, automate your experiments by scripting it and having um, um, positional triggers or timed events. In this case, we just uh, turned the red screen um, on the right after a certain time. And once the husky goes close to it, the screens will switch. And for last editor, the brain editor, last but not least, here we have an eye cup, and behind the eye cup is a retina brain model. The retina model will allow the eye cup to track this little green ball that you see on the screen. And as you can see, it stays slightly to the left of the ball. In the middle, always slightly to the left. Our brain editor is again using Pine, the Python nest interface. You can directly manipulate the whole population of your neurons. And to demonstrate, we changed some of the, uh, one of the parameters a little, update our brain, and from there on out, the eye cup stays to the right of the ball. These are the basic editors we have available. So when you actually uh, save your changes, every editor has this save to color button. Um, clicking it will make your changes permanent and save it in your call-up files. Every call-up has a storage, and of course, all our files are located in that storage. You can even download those files, edit them with external tools, and re-upload them. For example, for your environment, you could use Blender, which is way more powerful than our tools. Okay, so I leave you with some little Im impressions, <laughs> things that developed uh, during the uh, two and a half years. Little robot arm, also soft body phys physics on a mouse. A Lauren robot in a space environment. And the neurobotics platform running together with the spinnaker boards. Thank you for listening, and I hope I could spark your interest a little. If I have, um, sign up for the platform and de develop the platform with us. Thank you. I pass back to um, Karl-Heinz Meyer.